Hello everyone, this is Running on Empty Food Review. Well, hello ladies and gentlemen, and everyone watching, this is Running on Empty Food Review. I'm your host, the Report of the Week. An elusive, very, very rare Arby's review uh, is headed your way today. Arby's is one of those places that they exist, they are around... You know, but 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 I I don't review them. I, I seldom review the Arby's, and the reason why is it's just I don't know. There's always been this disconnect is too harsh of a word, but it's just the appeal, I guess, of some of their items. It's it's never been there for me, and I think there'd be too much of a bias kind of shining through uh, that it wouldn't really be a impartial, fair review toward it. Uh, for instance, like they got the new Arbinator sandwich out. And you know, here's a quick review for it. I've tried it. I'm not a fan of it. I don't like it. I think it's just too much. It's just, you know, to excess, in my opinion. Now, some of you I know would love it. You would you'd want it just stacked up, the more the merrier, so to speak. And, you know, 2,500 calories in a sandwich? Make it 5,000. Uh, you know, 10,000. Just keep stacking it. Stack it until you can't do it anymore. Until they run out of ingredients. So I understand that there's different mentalities and it's all here. Look at it and so on and so forth. So I decided instead I'm going to try out one of my favorite things on the uh, on the menu. Whenever I go to Arby's, this is what I like to get. And they got a new shake out too. So it's kind of going to be a two for one deal, so to speak. Uh, now, on the topic of deals, I want to get this out of the way real quick. If you want to help support my radio show, my work, you know, you're ever thinking about getting merchandise uh, in regards to the channel, but you're kind of on the fence about it, this is probably the best time to do it. On the topic of deals with Black Friday, Cyber Monday, all that going on, we got a 15% discount going on for my Teespring store, and it's, it's via a special link that has the code embedded into it. And, you know, so you get an item, then the code will be activated once it's in the shopping cart, so to speak. But to get that code, you can find the link to it in the cards. You could also find it in the description and in the pinned comments. So, uh, you know, if you're kind of on the fence about getting any merch, you gotta be quick. Because this is, uh, this is the time to do it. It's valid until the end of the month. But uh, it's just a really good way to help support things. And... Uh, you know, just something to check out. Even just peruse the store, maybe you'll see something you like. So anyway, first things first, uh, what should I do? Should we try out the shake or should we try out the sandwich? I think I'm gonna try out the shake because I just have a feeling that mint chocolate and buffalo sauce isn't gonna go together very well. And plus this is the new item, so to speak. Arby's is uh, one of those places that I think their drinks are kind of underrated. You know, no one really, they always think about the roast beef sandwiches, but not too much about the drinks. So this is what it looks like. It's just a mint chocolate shake. Uh, you know, just, just a mint chocolate. Comes with some uh, whipped cream on the top there. A little bit of a uh, drizzle of, it's not nuts, it's actually candy pieces and uh, chocolate syrup right there. You can see what it looks like. I, I don't want to take the top off because you can kind of see some spillage there and I don't want to get that everywhere. But uh, you can see it's like a, it's it's pretty. I do like the color, and uh, it does look pretty uh, you know, pretty similar to what you'd see on the site and on the ads. So now the straw goes in, and I'll just try it out. And really, it's just very basic mint chocolate. This is a new release, by the way. The other thing has kind of always been on the menu. So this is a new release, limited time, and uh, you know, let's see how good it is for the holiday season. So it's the mint chocolate shake from Arby's going in. I could already pretty much give an assessment, but I'm going to take a few more sips of it. Of course, the flavors in general and what you're expecting out of it is basic, you know, well, mint chocolate, right? That's what you're looking for. 
uh, here's what it just comes down to. It's got that chocolatiness to it. It's it, it's it's not. It has a good, I guess, not necessarily texture, but you know what I mean when I'm getting down to the world of shakes, where sometimes it's just too solid and it's like solid ice cream and you can't really sip it through a straw. Other times it's just too watery. It's at it's at that stage where it's got that good combination where there's a little bit of drag and resistance, but it's it's still it's like a milkshake, you know? It's like how a shake should be. Mintiness, I wish it was a little more minty, uh, especially considering the color. It's like a, a minty green type of color. You'd think, wow, it must be really like a spearmint, perhaps, but it really isn't. You can taste that chocolatiness that's in there. Milk chocolate, very sweet, and actually has a, a bit of a vanilla taste to it as well, but not as minty as I would have expected. So uh, that's the only thing really to, to go with there. It's certainly chocolatey, and it's like a vanilla shake with some chocolate added, and then the mint is more or less an aftertaste. It's still a very pleasant drink though, and uh, certainly very, I mean, it's pretty, I, I gotta give them credit. Pleasant to drink, but I just wish there was a little more mintiness to it. So if that being said, I'm just gonna probably do two reviews for one. Price for that, $2.49. Out of 10, I'm gonna give it a 7.0 flat, because it was very pleasant to drink, but when they, they say that it's a mint chocolate, shake, you would just expect there to be a little more emphasis on the mint than what there really was. I would say it's more of like a vanilla chocolate shake with then a little bit of mint added kind of as a garnish, but it's not really the, the center focus of it all, so to speak. So now on to the food review. Uh, the buffalo chicken sandwich. Now this one, I just wanted to go for it. I got it with no... Uh, because what does it come on? Well, it's their buffalo chicken, lettuce on a bun, and it's supposed to come with this peppercorn ranch, but I'm not a fan of it. So this is what I usually get. This is like my, my usual go-to for Arby's, and it's a good sized sandwich. That's just a piece of lettuce, thankfully. What I like about it is that it's always, you always get lettuce falling out of it. That's not what I was gonna say, but you always get a good portion size. Okay, you can kind of see peeking through there. There's a view of that chicken, the uh, buffalo chicken. And it's just really sauced up. That's the only way to, to put it. Again, you can kind of see it's just a little bit of a messy sandwich this time around because they really do coat it in the sauce. But I'm just seeing if I could find a way to get a good grip on the bun without it being an utter disaster, I'll show you. Here you go. So, I mean, you can see right there uh, you know, it's just, it's, it's a basic sandwich. It's got that buffalo sauce on it, but a really good size patty and, uh, just lettuce there. So with that, I'm just going to take a few bites. I'll let you know. I'm probably going to enjoy it though. As I said, this is my go-to for a reason. I always like that spicy stuff, stuff, uh, sometimes. So I'm just going to take a few bites and let you know my thoughts. So it's the buffalo chicken sandwich. No Parmesan, uh, peppercorn sauce on it though. Going in. So to give a pretty quick assessment on that, I always like it because you get a good amount of chicken, a good portion size for, for what you're paying. It's around uh, $5, but you can get a good, a good chicken patty. It's crispy, but it has that juiciness and that flavor in there too. Just a good quality chicken patty overall. 
you get that buffalo sauce, it tastes good. Uh, you get that just right amount of spice. Not overwhelming, uh, but not underwhelming either. It just adds a good amount of flavor to it. Only thing just to keep in mind is that sometimes the lettuce, the stringiness, it can just be a little bit of a, an annoyance how it can kind of fall fall over. But otherwise, it's just a good, uh, you know, a good sandwich in my opinion. That's why I always get it, just very flavorful. Good portion size again of the chicken and just a good spiciness too. Out of 10, 8.4 out of 10 is my rating. And with that, that's all that I have for you. Thank you for watching. I'm your host, the reporter of the week. Today, trying two for one from Arby's. See you again in a couple days with another video. And that's all. Take care.